Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I wanted to show you what I got uh, the past week. Uh, that's my new Edwards trombone. So I just wanted to do a little quick review about it. And uh, first, let's start with the case. Uh, it's a very nice case. Uh, you can see that it has some backpack straps. And something really cool about this case is on this side, it comes with this little briefcase thing. So you can open this up right here. And there's some pencil holders and just like some stuff to carry things. And then it also comes with uh, the, the briefcase part. So I put I put a uh, just you know a couple books in there, a couple folders. And let's open the case now. And you can see the uh, the horn. It's an Alessi horn. Uh, this case is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it, but like there's these little cushion things right here. And the whole case is completely like uh, you can change everything. So let's say I take this horn out and I put a new horn in. I can take these off, and I can move them around. That way, when I close the case, it goes. It will fit wherever the horn is. And then right here this little part right here you can take this off too and uh... it will help with the fitting so when i got when i got the horn the tuning slide was all the way in and I, and this was farther in so i took the horn out and i uh... tuned in got it all ready and then i had to peel this part off and move it back but that's a cool thing about it uh... it comes with a mouthpiece holder and also let me get this out of the way this part comes off to review a little compartment for storage. So I just put, you know, some extra spray bottles, some Trombotine in there. And, yeah, I'm going to this mouthpiece thing. Uh, it has three holes in it, or it has three little uh, parts in it to put three mouthpieces in it, but I just have one. There's no point carrying three mouthpieces around, in my opinion. And, let's get the slide. You kind of have to take the pull the right side off first. And get it out. Uh, it's a very nice slide. It comes with some uh, uh, slide cream on, already on it. Uh, I pulled. I put that off though, and put my own trombotine on it. But yeah, the uh, the um, slide is very nice. Uh, you know, on most Edward horns, the slide. Or the whole horn is, you know, you can take off parts and put parts back on. But uh, the the uh, neat thing about the Alessi horn is that it was customized, you know, for Alessi, uh, obviously. So all the parts are what he chose, so it's all fixed. So as you can see, the uh, I'm drawing a blank to what this this part is, but you can't take you can't take this part out, unlike other Alessi horn, unlike other Edwards horns. And again with the with the uh, bell air, the bell and the uh, valve section, you can't it, you can't uh, take stuff off. It's all fixed and it's all fixed. So you can look at the valve. Uh, it has you know a little Joe Lessie engraved right there, and you can also see that the trigger has this nice wooden piece on it, and the trigger works really well. Um, you know, I was playing on a block horn previously, and the trigger was uh, very loud and just rattling and stuff. And this one's very, very silent. And then you can see also right here on the bell, if you can, Joe Leslie's little engraving right there. So put the name on it, up the price a thousand bucks. And then. I'm sure you guys know about this part, but the cool thing about the Alessi horn is it has this bracing right here, and what you can do is, let me try to get a better view. What you can do is you can take uh, these little rods right here, and you can unscrew them, and you can place different size rods. I think they're called uh, columns, I think that's what uh, Edwards calls them. And you can uh, basically just like put these columns in, in, one, in these three screws, in these three screw holes, and what it does is it uh, tampers and it uh, messes with the sounds. So it's really uh, what how they advertise it is that the far right um, screw hole 
you uh, whatever you put in there messes with the vibration and sound of the bell and then the middle one messes with the vibration of the valve section and then the third or and then the far left uh, screw hole messes with the slide so it's very cool so I was working with or when I was getting fitted for a horn I was uh, messing, I messed around with that for about 20 minutes with uh, the guy and f and took a picture of it and found out, you know, just saved what I got. So, and it really does make a difference. You know, I was I when I first got the horn, I was playing with without without any of the uh, columns screwed in, and I I noticed when I was done playing, when I was done playing, the uh, the bell continued to vibrate, and which was which was cool. But uh, the sound was a little bright, and then once I screwed in that sil the silver column, uh, the when I was done, when I stopped playing a note, the horn uh, would not vibrate as much, but it, it darkened the sound. So, it, so I mean, you know, you just kind of screw around with it. I'm not sure there's really a formula or something. I'm sure it's just you know screw them in and see what what works the best. But uh, like it, it really actually does work. So. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy that I got this horn. I'm really excited about it. I'm really I'm having fun playing with it. It's just this this Celeste horn is just so much um, nicer to play on than my old Bach. You know, it just it's so easy to move through the partials. You know, like let's take Mahler six for an instance. You know, you have a, at the beginning of the piece you have the uh, you play an F and you play a low F, and it's just so easy to just go down to that F really easily. So yeah, like I'm really happy with this horn. I'm glad I got it, and I can't wait to. Uh, you know, play it more often. Thanks, guys.